Dr. Marissa Teo is a scientist who has taken on one of the biggest challenges out there, finding a cure for cancer. Uh, there's still a lot that's still unknown about, about cancer. Uh, nobody has found a cure for cancer, so that is something that's still a huge challenge to mankind. There's still a lot more that needs to be done. And that's the reason why I chose to study cancer. Marissa and her team have focused their efforts on developing a vaccine for nasopharyngeal cancer, one of the top 10 most common cancers in Singapore. Marissa is a person who works very intensively. She's very goal-oriented, but she's also been able to lead a team to accomplish what is really a very challenging project. She's vibrant, she's energetic, and uh, she's just an all-round wonderful person. What I love about what I do is that there's never a dull moment. Every day is something different happens. In 2010, Marissa was awarded a US $20,000 research grant from the L'Oreal Women in Science program. The annual program honours women scientists from around the world, and this was the first time a Singaporean had been so recognised. She travelled to Paris for the award ceremony, where she was able to meet and interact with other women scientists from many different countries. Well, of course, when I first got the email from the UNESCO, a little bit disbelieving, um, and uh, of course I was surprised, you know, and it's only when I went to Paris that I really um, uh, understood the impact of the award. With the grant, Marissa was able to spend time at the Centre for Cell and Gene Therapy at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston, Texas to further her research into tumour immunology. She is uh, tenacious, um, she, is, uh, she never says die, and I think what is really important is that she was willing to uh, lead a team that was doing something that perhaps may have appeared very experimental and ahead of its curve, and she was willing to stick with it against the odds, and of course it came through, and I think we're all very relieved and very happy that what we're doing can potentially make a difference in patients' lives. Marissa's drive and focus manifested early. In school, she was a high achiever who enjoyed sports. She excelled in golf from a young age, winning a junior golf championship at the age of nine. She worked very hard. In fact, in, from, from primary school, we never had to push her to do anything. Uh, whatever she was interested in, she, she, she would put in a lot of effort on her own. Really. And we're, in a sense, I guess we are, we are, as parents, we're very blessed and we feel very lucky. You know, I just hope to um, be able to do what I love doing, which is research, and hopefully be able to have enough funds to do it. Um, and uh, maybe in the future to be able to have my own lab um, and to um, continue on with my research. Coming in contact with cancer patients and uh, so often it kind of um, dawns on you that you know, time is kind of short and life is short. Um, and to uh, be able to appreciate you know, the simple things in life uh, sometimes means a lot to me.